I S U P K. Look how, look how low they feel. Right. 
Now just think about how low the white man is gonna fall, because he's gonna right. fall up under there. Watch your back, watch your back. Yeah, he's gonna, he gonna fall up under there. You see what I'm saying? The white man's gonna be made low there. Give me some more of that scripture. Verse 2, and they shall take them and bring them into their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in their land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, for whom captives they were. Wait a minute, it said we was going to take them what? And they shall take them captives. The captives? What is a captive? Let me tell you what a captive is. Look at the prison, the jail. They the jail, the jail right over there. What's inside the jail? Captives. So it said we're going to take the other races into what? Captives. Who captives they were? Wait a minute. It said we're going to take them captives. Who's captives they were? Who were we captive up under? Who are we captives up under right now? We up under the white man. We captives up under them, man. We, that's why we're sitting in the jail over there. You see what I'm saying? That's why we sitting in the jails and the prisons. Because we're their captives, right? But the Bible says we're going to take them captives whose captives we were. Go ahead, read that part again. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. They said we're going to rule over who? Our oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. The white man is going into slavery. That's right. Amen. Goddamn right. Amen. The white man is going into goddamn slavery. That's right. Go ahead and do this some more. Go, go down to it. We're talking about the king of Babylon. Yeah, do fuck God. Before. If God wrote that book, then fuck before, God. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Who's the king of Babylon? The king of Babylon is the white man. And it's talking about, it's not talking about just one man. You know what I'm saying? The Bible, when you talk about prophetic language, when it says a man or whatever, that's talking about a whole nation of people who they you know, and it's actually according to their progenitor. You see what I'm saying? And they're of that seed. So the white man, you know, he is a man on the earth. That's why we call him the white man. We don't call him the white, you know, we'll say the white men, right? We understand that they come from the same stock. Go ahead. And say, how said the oppressor chat? How the oppressor see? And say, how have the oppressor see? And say, how have the oppressor see? How has he, he stopped? Man, he's shut down. The white man will be shut down. They didn't say that he's going to be, you know, a believer in this day. He's going to be destroyed in this day. Go ahead. Go God. And the golden, uh, and the golden city sees. And the golden city sees. Who? Where's the golden city at? Does can anybody tell me where the golden city is? The golden city is the United States of America. You see what I'm saying? This is the golden city. That's why they called it the New World. You see what I'm saying? This was the glory. This is the glory of the white man's kingdom right here. The glory of his rulership. Go ahead. God. Verse five. The Lord have broken the staff of wickedness. Of the wicked. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked. That means he's broken the staff of the white man, right? When remember what we read the scripture before, it said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And it says here, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. Go ahead. And the And the scepter of the rulers. Verse 6. He who smite the people. And the wrath of verse six, he will we will smoke the people and the wrath with a continuous stroke. Who goes to war all over the earth and just cannot stop fighting? <laughs> cannot stop going to world war. That's right. what it's talking about right there. That's the white man. That don't say nothing about him being uh, grafted in or any of that stuff or whoso he part of the whosoever. He's the one that's going to come in direct opposition to the Lord when he comes back. You see what I'm saying? That's why Donald Trump got a space army. Because they're trying to stop Christ from even hitting the atmosphere. Right. So you mean to tell me they brought over the whosoever? Hell no, they ain't. Go ahead. Verse 6. Slocky. The middle was 6. He that ruled the nations in anger. He that ruled the nations in anger. Who is ruling the nations in anger right now? Who's bombing every damn body? 
drugs. You see what I'm saying? Who cannot stop bombing? Who cannot stop building more weapons? Who's all of the money that they have? What what country, what what race? Majority of their, their, their resources go into making weapons. Right. The white man. Go ahead. And none and none in or seven. The whole earth is at rest. The, the whole earth is going to be at rest when the Lord puts down the white man because he's behind every war that's fought on the face of the planet. Cut off CNN, BBC and all of that. He's behind all of it. So when he gets put down, the whole world is going to be at rest. Think about it within yourself. If the white man was to be, to be stopped today, everybody would stop fighting. They wouldn't have a reason to fight. You see what I'm saying? White men are even in a time where Chicago is not murdering each other real real badly. What's the white man doing? He, he's standing there dressing himself up in blackface and going and committing crimes. So that more, more, more murder and stuff sparks right back up. Because the white man is the king of confusion. He's the king of carnage. You see what I'm saying? He even did that with the Arabs. You know, when the Arabs stopped fighting for a second, what did he do? He sent in people, and they dressed down just like they were Muslims and all that, and it was two Jewish white men. And they went and, and made and killed a couple of other Muslims or whatever, made it set a bomb, and start, sparked everything back up. And they ended up busting on Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 